Hello everyone, my name is Davin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about how do I edit my videos. From last four years I'm doing this process of uploading a video on YouTube. So starting from making a video, editing the video and publishing it. Okay, so when I started this journey, I was recording the video and then I was doing small edit, you know, cutting the starting and ending part, that's it. I was pushing the video as it is on the YouTube without doing any text format or something. After some time, I realized I have to edit my videos, you know, just to make it look good. Then I started putting my name and then the logo of the disco and then doing some small edits. The starting point, ending point and adding some uh, starting screen. Later, I realized I can make it more advanced. So in the journey of four years, most of the video has been edited by myself. But then I also got some help from other people. So some videos has been edited by Pooja, by Hirsch, by Kiran. So yes, I got some help here. And then while I was making my Python videos, I realized, you know, I have to just do some extra work so that it will be appealing for my audience to watch it. Because of course, right, when you learn something new, there's a chance that you will get bored by looking at my face or by looking at the screen. So what if you can merge everything, you know, the face, the screen, and also some text, which will make it more interactive. And then I started learning some more editing. And again, I'm not a professional editor here. I'm not saying this is the best work you can do, but this is something which I love to do, you know, which I'm enjoying nowadays. So when I watch my own Python videos, I feel good, you know, I feel motivated that, yeah, it is going good. So once again, it is not the perfect work. You can try more stuff. Now, while we are talking about how do I edit my own video is because I was, I got some requests on Facebook, on YouTube that they want to know the process of editing, how I edit my videos. So I thought, okay, let's make a video on that. And this is my try of teaching you how to edit a video. Now, the software which I'm using here is, a, is Camstasia. Now, this video is not being sponsored by anyone, okay? It's not a sponsored video. I know it will look like a sponsored video, but it's not. Uh, it's just that I was using some different softwares before. I have worked with ScreenFlow. I have worked with iMovie, one of the best editing software, if you have a Mac. But then I wanted to work on Windows due to some software compatibility. You know, I was working on different softwares. So I thought, let's use Camstasia. And yes, it works good. It's not one of the best software available. We have iMovie, which is, which is better than this. But yeah, so in this video, we'll see how to use Camstasia. You can just, if you want to try it, it is, it's available for trial version, you can try it out. And if you're really focusing on making huge amount of videos, and if you really want to focus on making professional videos, I would say investing on good hardware and good software make much more sense. So the laptop which I use for editing is Asus Gaming Machine. Uh, this is, I forgot the model number for this. I will just put that in description area. And I also have a MacBook where I can edit my videos. And of course, working on MacBook is much more pleasant than working on a Windows machine. But this works, okay? Now, so let's get started. Let's see how to edit in Camstasia. Now let's start with the actual work. So we will edit this video. Now this video has been edited and then it is published on YouTube. But then we'll try to edit the same video so, so that you will understand what exactly I'm doing when I did my own videos. So if you look at this video, this is a very small video of less than five minutes. And then what type of editing I'm talking about. So you can see we have two different videos here. The first one is my face recording. And the second one is the screen recording. I'm making sure that my face comes on the screen and there's no background, okay? It's not that I'm standing ahead of a huge monitor, right? Of course. So what I'm doing here is uh, basically we need editing something like this. You know, when you start the video, there should be some context where you can inform your user what video you're going to see. Example, the topic name and then who is the, uh, I mean, my, my name and the company name. And later, uh, I want uh, this thing, you know, uh, my face in front of a screen. And then there will be some kind of animation if you look at this animation here. And then what I want is the moment I focus more on the screen recording or the coding, I need to make sure that I shrink my footage there. And then maybe we want to add some text on the screen. Okay, so let's get started. So which software we are going to use here? Of course, you can use any software which you want. There are a lot of softwares available. Some are free, some are paid, and then some are damn costly, right? Now, if you talk about more quality videos, you have to invest, right? So one of the software we can use here, Adobe Premiere, but then the only problem is it is very costly. Then we have a mid-range software we can use like Camstasia. And then if you want to go for free one, you can use them as well. Again, the quality of video is not defined by how much money you pay. It's also about your efforts and then creativity. But of course, if you buy a software, if you buy a good software, you will get more tools. That's the only thing you will get, okay? But creativity and time you have to, of course, spend. So let's use Camstasia here. This is the Camstasia version, which I'm using. Now Camstasia provide you two things. The first one, it will help you to record the video and it will also help you to edit it. 
Now, if you want to record a screen, of course, if you want to record yourself, you will use a mobile phone or a camera. But if you want to record a screen, you will be using Camstasia. There's an option of record here. Just set record and it will record a video for you. Okay, in fact, it gives you multiple options like resolution, then the mic you want to choose, right? Now, once you get a footage here, once you got two things, the first one is your video and the second one is the screen recording. Now, of course, when you record by using Camstasia, it will give you the uh, media here itself. Uh, and if you want to get your video on this, because of course, there should be your video as well. So what you will do is you, you will simply click on plus and say import media, locate the file. And of course, if you have this in your mobile phone, you have to shift your computer, of course. Okay, now once you get these two things, the your footage and the screen recording. So let's use this screen recording. This is the video, other uh, videos. This is the video which is linked to this video. So let me just drag it here. Okay, so this is my, okay, let me just drag it from to the front. So this is my screen recording and this is my face recording. Okay, so it's a very small video. Now, if you look at the length of this footage, this is 5.56 uh, minutes, right? But on the other hand, if you, the video which is uploaded on YouTube, you can see this is only 4.51. So of course, when you make a video, there are some cuttings, there are some things which you see in the video, but it's not required, right? So we have to remove that as well because we have to give a pleasant experience to the user. So this is where we are. So let's start with the editing. Okay, so we'll not do some big editing. We'll talk about some, something small. The first thing we need is we don't need this background. Okay, I need a transparent background. So what you can do is in Camstasia, we have this option. So we have to right click here and say add visual effect. There's an option of remove color. So there's one way of doing that. The other way is you can see we have a visual effect tab here. And then here we have an option of remove color. You just need to drag it on your screen or the way you have the video. Now we got that option. Okay, so we can remove the color now, but if you will see we have not removed the color yet. So it's very simple. You just need to say expand this. Pick up the color, which color you want to remove. So if you remove this blue color, you, you know, you will miss me there. So uh, you, you will lose my body. This, this is the photo which I uploaded uh, on Facebook today. Okay, so remove that. Uh, we don't need to remove that color. So let's undo it. We need to remove the green color, right? So in that case, I will just pick a green color. So you can see I have removed the background. It's so simple. Okay, if you can see there's still some green here. So what you have to do is you have to do some tolerance adjustment here. So you can see if I drag it to eight, I think it's best now. So you can see we have removed that green color as well. And then now, oh, there's one green interaction here. But anyway, if I shrink my video, because this is what happens if you don't have a proper lighting. Okay, so because when you record yourself, you need to have a proper lighting as well. So you can remove this color by cropping yourself. So you can just click on this crop and just crop the footage here. And you can see you will lose that green. So that's one way. Another way is you can actually play with this tolerance level again. So you can just, you know, make it nine. Nine is suitable, right? You can see we are losing that as well. And then you can also make it soft or, you know, so you can increase softness, decrease softness, depend upon, uh, you need to look for the perfect clarity there, okay? That's important. Now, once you get that, you can use this. I also need one thing. I don't want this time or this bar, you know, because if you can, you know, expand your uh, screen, the font will be more visible to the user. So in that case, you just need to select your screen and you just need to expand it. So you have to click on the arrow and if you expand, you can see you, you can zoom as much as you want, right? So we got these two things. We have done something with the screen and something with my face here. The next thing is we need to make sure that the, so the audio video of my first footage, which is myself here and the screen recording audio footage should match. How do you make sure that it is matching? So what I do is normally you need to match it with the help of the audio frequency. Of course, it is difficult to actually match it. And what I do is when I, with the moment I start a video, I clap. Okay, so when I clap, you can see it creates that spike there and you can actually match those spike. So you can just expand it and drag the first footage and make sure it comes in the same alignment. Okay, normally when you start with this work, it will take some time, but you know, gradually your speed will increase. Okay, so we have done with the syncing. Okay, so, so the screen and my face has been synced now. The only thing we have to do is we don't need the second audio because this audio has been recorded from a laptop and this audio has been recorded from a proper mic, proper audio there, right? So let's remove the second one and you can just crop from where you want. So we don't want, okay, so we want clap. Yes, we want. Welcome back. So yeah, we, we want welcome back. So what I will do is I will remove the extra part. So we don't need the first part. And then how do you cut this footage? It's very simple. Just click on this cut and you can see it has been removed. And if I say play, back, okay, so that's great. Ready. So it says, welcome back aliens. 
Okay, now once I got the audio and video the same place, we can use multiple tracks here. Okay, these tracks are also important. You can imagine them as a layer because this is my first layer, this is my second layer, and that's why you can see my face above the screen. But what if I shuffle it? What if I change the direction? So you can see the screen comes up, right? And you cannot see me there. And that's why you have to make sure that screen comes behind. If you remove the screen, you will see a black background there. Okay, there's, you can see there's still some uh, green line here. And that's where you, you need to play with this tolerance level, okay? This is what you do there. Okay, so once I got this, the next thing we have to do is we need to add some text, okay? This is what you can do. You can add some text. So the way you can add a text here is by, in fact, the first thing you see in the video is the animation, right? It shows the topic name. It's very easy actually in Camstasia. You have to go to media. Depending upon uh, Camstasia version, this menu changes. And I will click on this bar here. You can see we have intro. There should be some intro here. So you can see we have lower thirds. Now from this, you can pick up any one you want. I guess I'm using sliding boxes. Is it what I use in my video? and now we know how to pass parameters. Yeah, so this, this is what we use, right? This is what I use in my videos. So once you got this, of course, it will, so Camstasia will promote itself. We don't want to promote Camstasia. We want to promote our own content, right? So I will use a title here. I will say editing videos, that's the topic. And then uh, I, you can use your name here and the website name. So I will use my website name here, which is Talisco. Okay, so and you can see this is how you right? can put and a have... content here. It's very simple. Okay, now once you have done that, once you have done with this animation, you can actually add some text on this screen. Again, it is very easy, you just need to go to annotation and there are a lot of annotations here. Okay, when I say easy, if you're a beginner, you will find it difficult to find those elements, you know, but once you get used to it, you will find those stuff very easily. So you can just drag it here and you can add a topic name. Any topic name, you can say subscribe here and you can say like, with, like the video. So you can talk about those stuff here and you can add the topic name as well. You can add whatever you want, you know, you can add images as well. So let's say if you download something from Google or if you download any image and if you want to put that image on a screen, it's very easy. Just say add uh, import media. You can just pick the image and drop it on the screen. It's that easy. You can actually increase and decrease the length of that text. So if you want it for a longer time, you can just drag it from here. Okay, it works. The next thing is, how about if I make a mistake? Of course, right, as uh, when you make a video, there are a lot of mistakes you, you make. So let's say if you don't want this footage from here to here, you can just select this one. Of course, you have to listen to yourself. You have to listen what you're talking about, what you're saying, and then uh, you need to cut that part. So once you know that you, you want to cut this footage, just select that footage and say cut. So it will remove that part from the video. Now the next thing is, what if I'm focusing on the screen, okay? I don't want my face to be so big. I want, I want to make it small on the screen. So what you can do is you can, you can just break it here, okay? First, so before changing the size, because in the earlier part, I want my face to be big. In the later part, I want it to be small. So in that case, you can just break it down. So there's a button here, so you split. Select the video and I mean select the track and click on the split. Now you can see we have two parts. In the first part, yes, I want it to look big. And in the second part, I want to make sure that the user focus goes on the screen, not on my face. So I have to reduce the size. So you have to select this one and reduce the size here. It's very simple. There is only one problem. If you go from this track or from this video to the next video oh, after after splitting you can see there's a sudden change in no, this size it doesn't look good you know if, if you want to make it look good what you can do is you can add a transition in fact you don't have to do it manually you can ask camstasia to do it for you you can just say you can select the part the ending part of the first video and the uh, starting part of the second video just select that and say cut so camstasia will give you a smooth transition right now here, so this uh, is what camstasia gives you now, I'm sure in other softwares as well, you'll be having some amazing features. I'm sure when you work with Adobe Premiere or uh, Final Cut Pro, you'll be having much more features than this. But then I'm just talking about the features you can use. Okay, what if you want something extra here? What if you want to zoom to a particular text? You can also do that here. So there's an option of animation. You can zoom to a particular part. Example, I want to give more focus to this Mumbai or this term here. So what you can do is at this point, you want to do some transition. So just drag it here. So you can see this giving more focus to that particular part. And it also gives the transition, you know. So if I run this, you can see that we got sure. the zoom. So and now if you want to come sure. out, it's very easy. Just again, pause at that point, right? And again, increase the size. So now if you can see, we got the transition. So we got a good name transition. So we got zooming sure. so and we got zoom sure. out, but I'm not right? Sure so it looks good on the, in the videos. 
Okay, the next thing we need is if you what if you are making a video and you want some more voice, okay? So if you want to add extra voice, you know, some background voice of yourself, you can just say start video recording and a voice recording, it will give you more audio options. Okay, you can also remove the background noise here. So you can just see we have noise symbol option, just drag it here. I don't use this much. I don't use this thing because it doesn't work at least for my videos because I'm making sure that the place where I'm recording these videos are, we don't have much noise around it. So if you have a lot of noise, then of course you can use this option. Uh, you can also increase the clip speed. I don't use it in the recent videos, but you can use that. Yeah, so now let's talk about the text. So we have talked about the text, right? So let's say I want to add some text here. So this is something which I use a lot in my videos. And then I will say like. And if I want to, so see this is an add right? And it looks good if you can show some animation on that add -o. So what you can do is you can click on this behavior here. And there's option of sliding. So whenever I use an add I always use sliding. So sliding looks good, you know? So if I drag that slide here, and if I play, parameters which are you can see you can actually see that arrow coming then we can use different pop-up options here example if i take another text here uh, let me use this bubble and i will say share now in this case if you want to add uh, animation here it's very simple again go to behavior and when i use this type of bubbles i normally work like to work with pop-up you know it looks good so when i play it you can see it pops so there are different options you can use jump and fall this is good when you are showing normal text uh, so you can try different options here. So that's how you edit a video in Camstasia. You can add some images, just try it out. Okay, it will initially it will take some time, but later you will start loving it. Now the most amazing part, if you have done with the editing, the next thing is you have to upload this video on YouTube, right? So there's a direct option, you can just click, click on share here. There's an option of uploading your video on YouTube. It will ask you for the sign in, but I don't trust it. What I do is I, edit, I export my video so that I will have a local file. So you can see we have an option of local file. Just click on this local file and you can export the video. I make sure that I use a 1080, but then depending upon your screen resolution, depending upon your uh, quality of the video, you can just export it the way you want. So I will say next, you want to go for MP4, of course, and then click on next, and then you can add a name here and then click on finish. It will export the video. Now, once you have done with the export, you can upload this video on YouTube or anywhere you want, right? So that's it. That's how I edit my videos. In fact, I'm planning to also make a video how I exactly record my videos, you know, having that green screen behind me, uh, the gadgets you require to record a video. So let me know in the comment section if you're excited to see those things. So that's it, everyone. Now, once you have seen the editing part, I hope you enjoyed the stuff there. So if you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. And do subscribe for further videos because I'm also planning to do some setup to you know how exactly I do the setup for the videos. If you want to be a YouTuber, you can try this small set. So that's it, everyone. Bye-bye.